Hello and welcome to this uh, video. This is your homework for tomorrow. Uh, first of all, we'll try to learn some of the words taken from the book, pages 4 to 10. I haven't uh, covered them all, but I picked out 30 words and I would like you to listen to these and practice them. The first word is abolish. Abolish means to get rid of something, to lose it, to stop it. And we use the word when we talk about slavery. We want to abolish slavery. You've read about the Declaration of Independence. U au hing his Erklärungen. Declaration of Independence, a very important piece of paper in American history. The word to vote means that you can vote for a president. You have one man, one vote. That's the democratic system. Century, well, a hundred years, that is a century. Equality. Equality is part of some of the words from the Declaration of Independence. It means that you are equal, you have the same value, no one is worth more or less than you are. And then we have two words. You can say a judge, someone who judges, and you can say to judge. It means that you decide whether someone is guilty or not. Quotation is when you repeat famous words from a president or someone else. You can make a quotation. Audacity. Audacity. That's a good word. You can use it in this sentence. Did you really have the audacity to do it? It means that you are brave, perhaps also a bit cheeky, a bit bold, a bit, uh, well, the Danish word would be Neuratninger, as an mål, or a bit frakt mål. On the other side, we can see the word emancipation proclamation, difficult to say. Frihedserklæringen, eller det stykke papir, der gjorde, at slaverne blev frie. Emancipation betyder at frisætte eller frigøre. Og proclamation er jo at proklamere, udråbe et eller andet. Så det betyder det altså emancipation proclamation, frigørelses udråbelse, kan man oversætte det. Civil rights. Uh, borgerrettigheder vil vi sige på dansk segregated well when you take some people and you take them apart from each other they are separated segregated same word to elect means that well you can choose you can choose a president you can elect a president self-evident is a word from the declaration of independence something is self-evident so gear is a cell the illusion endowed means that you are given Unalienable. Well, you know the word alien. Det er en fremmed en. Og hvis noget slet ikke er fremmed for en, så er det umisteligt. Det kan ikke tages fra en. Så er det dit eget. Så ordet unalienable betyder umistelig. Pursuit. I kender at kunne spille trivial pursuit. At gå efter et eller andet. Forfølge. Pursuit. Pursuit of happiness. At gå efter lykken. Foundation. Grundlag. More words. Substance. Kender I godt fra dansk. Substancen er noget det vigtigste. Altså indholdet. Grundindholdet. The substance. A tribe. Well, you can belong to a tribe. And the slaves taken from Africa, they belonged to different tribes. In stamme. Destiny. I think you know that word. It was my destiny to do that. En, der går ind for afskaffelsen af noget, kan man jo så kalde for en abolitionist. And the abolitionists, they believed that slavery should be abolished. Same word. To reach for the ballots. Uh, a ballot, det er den kasse, man putter sin stemme i, når man stemmer til et valg. So you can reach for the ballot. Det betyder, at du går hen for at stemme. Justice, well, something is fair. Opportunity, another word for possibility. Opportunity, possibility. Sometimes we call America the land of opportunities. Obstacles. Forhindring. Uh, something that tries to stop you is an obstacle. Inauguration. 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 Difficult word to say. Det betyder uh, indsættelse. So you can make an inauguration speech if you are a president. To defeat. Perhaps you know the word. If you win, well, then you have defeated your enemies. Former. Same word as previous. Something that was before. Former president. Tidligere. And then all this, well, what you've read is about politics. Politik har det der S på sig, når man siger det You can study politics, you can read about politics, or you can be interested in politics. Det var ordene. 
Og øh, nu skifter vi lige lidt, fordi jeg skal lige vise jer en øh, hjemmeside. So please stay tuned. We are going to watch a specific website. And it's not this website, but if you google this, then if you just write the white house like this the white house you can visit the official web page of the white house it says here the white house and first of all i'm going to take you a few uh, uh, through a few pictures well this is typical president obama every week as you can see up here he gives a speech but he does it on youtube so this is his weekly address you can watch it if you want to it's just a few minutes uh, he says something about uh, making higher education more affordable for the middle class so that everyone can go afford to go to school even though they're not that rich but this was not what I was going to show you I was going to show you some pictures it says here August 2013 here you can see the president playing football here we have him uh, well sitting at a normal cafe talking to people this is the situation room part of the White House where, well, very important people, they can follow situations around the world. This was the room they were in when uh, Osama bin Laden was killed, the situation room. Here we have the president, uh, some visitors to the White House. I think they are former sports stars. Here's the presidential dog, cute. And here we have the serious president talking about, I don't know, something serious, I guess. Talking to people meeting with the press this is from the oval office very important room in the white house here we have him walking down the hall and here we have him saying hello to some of the troops perhaps abroad could be in afghanistan or somewhere else but this website has a very interesting thing if you go up here you can see it says the white house and if you go whoops if you go down here it says interactive tour and I would like you to try that. This is something you should try. Spend five minutes to try this out. If you take the interactive tour and you say continue to tour, you can see here's a map of the White House. G is the ground floor and S is the state floor. This is where the president lives. And then we have some important things over here in the West Wing and a small thing here in the East Wing. And I would like you to try to visit some of the rooms in the White House. Read about it. It's not that big a text, but you could read about what's in the White House. And I'll give you an example. If we visit the ground floor in the West Wing, over here, you can see that, well, we're not going to visit all of the rooms, but we can visit different things if we take the red squares and if we press them. Well, you can see here, here's something about the situation room where we saw the picture from before. And this is even a video you can watch and it will show you uh, what goes on in the situation room. Or you could visit the first floor and here we have perhaps the most famous uh, part of the White House, the Oval Office. Here's a nice picture from the Oval Office. We can see the president sitting behind his desk. And you can see there's a short text that explains what goes on in the Oval Office. You don't have to read it all, but you should try to visit some of the places in the White House, uh, different places on this interactive tour, just for the fun of it. Pick out a few spots, read about it, and I would say you should spend 5-10 minutes doing this after having watched the video. Remember also to practice the words we began with. That's it. See you tomorrow.